Okay, start recording. I think I'm uh, recording. Hi, uh, so I'm making this video um, for a eBay seller of mine who I bought these MagSafe cables from. Uh, I, I was looking for MagSafe cables to replace all of these broken ones on our power supply and everything. And uh, all on eBay, they, they say that they work for everything. I, I should have known. You know, I, I really should know better. Uh, I need 85-watt MagSafe connectors, and these all came 60-watt, uh, both MagSafe 2 and MagSafe 1s that I bought. And uh, my eBay seller, I, you know, I don't expect um, eBay sellers to know all the products that they're selling. Some of these guys have thousands of products. It's a team of people. You know, they, they, don't, they don't really know everything about the products that they're selling. I don't expect them to. But what I do expect is that uh, when... I bring something to your attention, which uh, I've I've got great feedback from people that when I bring the the stuff to their attention, they do recognize that I, I might know what I'm talking about, and they look into it farther. And most of the time, I get a refund. Most of the time, sometimes I see uh, listings get changed with the proper information, which is just good for everybody and good for eBay too. Because if if you can't trust your sellers on eBay, eBay's going to suffer for it. And it's a good thing to, to have some talk between the, the sellers and the buyers. But <clears throat> I contacted my, my seller, and uh, he wanted to know how I tested my cables. I'm hoping that he wants to know this so that he can test the cables and either put them in the right listing, re, uh, put the listing correctly, or test the cables for which ones he's going to buy and make sure he buys the correct ones to resell. So... This this um, this video might get a little long-winded for the eBay seller if you do uh, wind up looking at this. I'll put some timestamps down in the uh, description below, and uh, if you want to look at exactly what uh, how I tested it, that'll be later on. First, I'm going to go through the MagSafe connector itself. I want to go over a little bit. Um, the, the The MagSafe connector has a communications chip inside of it. The computer, the, the motherboard, the SMC specifically, communicates with this tip. This tip is what sets what the, the wattage is that is coming out of this. You can connect this to whatever you want. As long as it's 18 volts going to this, this is going to be what tells the computer what, amp or what wattage you're connected to. So let's, let's take a look at how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up a schematic and board view for an average computer. This is a 1502 motherboard. Uh, the motherboard number is 820-3476. Can I not hit open? Oh, of course you're going to screw up right now. Open. Thank you, open board view. Great software, wonderful software. Uh, so, open, 3476, want to open up the schematic, and then we'll go ahead and open up the board view as well. So now let's go right to the VC in connector on this motherboard. This right here is the VC in connector. This is where the the um, MagSafe connector, the VC in board, which I have one right here. This is the MagSafe connector. has some small circuitry on here, not much, very minimal. It just uh, regulates the power to this connector. So let's go ahead and take a look at that on the board view. J7000 is your connector. So you have PP18V5DC in. So this is the 
uh, DC coming in, the positive voltage, one wire, and, or that's just a test point, you have uh, your ground and your adapter sense. Now adapter sense is what we're going to be talking about here. So if we follow adapter sense, you see it goes to a test point right here, and then it goes to the other side of the board. So I hit the middle mouse button, flip to the other side of the board, and we see where it goes to. It goes to U7000 here. So let's go ahead and look up U7000 on the schematic. There we go, Adobe. Find, please. Okay, what if I go here? Where the hell is find? Yeah, it seems the keyboard's not going to work. Um, <laughs> nice, I'm using the wrong keyboard. I'm using the work keyboard when I'm recording this on the laptop. Nice. I don't even think I paired this. Oh, yeah, that's, that's just great. Okay. Uh, U7000. So here's U7000. Here's the... I don't have anything set up properly on this thing yet. So here's what we're looking at on the uh, board and the board view. Here's your J7000. Here's your where your DC inboard connects in. You have your positive voltage coming in here, PP18V5, primary power. Then you have your ground, going straight to ground here, and a uh, filtering capacitor right there. Well, it's no stuff anyway, so that's not even there. Uh, but we're, we're concentrating on pin 6 here, the adapter sense. Now, adapter sense is a communication line. A uh, communication line on this connector needs some protection because when you jostle it around, when you, when you go to plug it in, you could accidentally hit the power to the adapter sense and now you kill everything. You just short out everything. So that's what these two chips here are for. U7000, U7001 are there to protect the system management controller, the SMC, from getting any power on its data line here because power on the data line would kill the SMC and the computer's junk until you put a new SMC on. So we look at adapt adapter sense is coming in, comes into U7000. U7000 is off right now. When, when, when you first connect it, U7000 is off so that if any transients come across here, any voltages come across here, it stops. U7000 stops it. It's done. Now U7000 then gets turned on and opened by U7001. U7001 is a simple AND gate, and SMC, BC, AC, OK has to be present on A and B. It's, they're tied together, so as, as soon as SMC, BC, AC, OK is present, it'll allow PP3V42 to come through and turn on U7000, which then connects adapter sense from the MagSafe connector to SIS1 wire. So we look at the board view here on this. We see SMC, BC, AC, OK is on here. We see SIS1 wires on here. We see adapter sense on here. Now the adapter sense is what's coming straight from the connector, and it's going to allow it to go out to SIS1 wire. SIS1 wire, if you look here, just travels directly to the system management controller. U5000, the SMC. So there is, it's not just power going through this, uh, this MagSafe wire. It's also a, a, some, something of a data connection going through it as well, just so that the MagSafe tip can communicate with the SMC to say, hi, I'm here, I am this amount of watts, so that you don't over... Uh, overdraw off of a uh, smaller um, charger and the, the computer knows that it can charge faster when you have a bigger charger connected to it. Now, for my purposes here at the shop, I need 85 watt uh, MagSafe adapters because anything less than 85 watt, some computers will not turn on without a battery connected. And I turn on motherboards all the time in this condition when they're just laying here without anything connected to it to test it. If I plug in a 60-watt MagSafe connector, it doesn't turn on. It, it 
just does nothing. It sits there and laughs at me, saying 60 watts. I'm not turning on for 60 watts. So that communication is in the MagSafe tip. So now let's go ahead and uh, show you how I tested that and how I got to this. I did want to show U7000 on here. Let's see. Where are you, U7000? Where's my cursor? There is your U7000, U7001. U7001 gets SMC, BCA, COK on pin 1 and 2 which comes from the SMC and the ISL, and uh, one, once the AC is okay, one, or once the, uh, the voltages are okay and it knows it's connected, the SMC puts out SMC, BC, AC, okay, and it turns on this, which turns on this, which allows Sys1 wire to communicate. And that's all done right here between that chip and that chip. Communicates with the SMC. So let's go ahead and show you how I tested this and what became of it. So if I go ahead and take a laptop with a MagSafe 2 connector, let me get the camera over here so you can hopefully read the screen. Sorry for the crotch cam. Okay, so here I got a uh, a laptop opened up with um, Sierra on it, I think. This is a uh, 1502, same motherboard that we looked at, same schematic that we looked at. It takes a MagSafe 2 connector. And go ahead. I have um, a program called Coconut Battery open on the screen here. Let me see if I get there. better angle. No way I'm going to get this to read on my... I think you could read that. But I have this uh, program, Coconut Battery, here. Uh, it's telling me all the information about the battery and the, uh, and the Mac. So if I go to Battery Info here, showing me all, all the information about the battery and the power adapter. Right now I'm not connected. So I'm going to go ahead and connect a Apple Original 85-watt MagSafe adapter this is plugged into an Apple Original Charger, Apple, Apple Original Power Brick. Go ahead and plug that in. 85 watt charger. It's telling me the battery, well, it's still it's discharging. Uh, it'll tell me the battery, how much the battery's charging with, what it's at and all that. Charging with 0.89 watts right now, still uh, coming up. But it's an 85 watt battery charger that I plugged in. Disconnect that. Now, before I hear anything that, oh, well, you can't do it like that, that's why it's coming up at 60 watts, I have here, this is a charger cable from a broken power brick. So this is the MagSafe end, just a piece of wire. And what I'm going to do here is I have these leads 
hooked up to a power supply and I'm putting 18 volts to the positive and the negative of this charger here. So I go ahead and plug this in. Plug that into the computer, 85 watts. Now this is a just a spare wire. It's plugged into some alligator clips that are hooked up to a power supply, and it's plugged in to the side of the Mac we're working on. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take one of these brand new wires. I'm going to connect the same alligator clips with the 18 volts to it. Now we have 18 volts to this brand new MagSafe tip. I plug in this brand new MagSafe tip. 60 watt power adapter. And this, for my purposes here, is absolutely useless. And they were rather expensive for wires. I, I understand they're Apple, they're replacements, yeah, they, they, they have to be expensive, but for small parts that I use every day in the office and they wear out and everything. I paid a lot of money for these. I, 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 they weren't the most ex or they weren't uh, the most expensive on eBay. They were, they were they were pretty cheap on eBay, but still, I, I wanted to get what I paid for, and I didn't get what I paid for. I, I, I should have known better. I should have known from the listing that hey, this listing is not right. This does not look right. But 60 watts. That's the problem. So to my eBay seller, I hope this helps you resolve any any other problems you might have. Um, I hope this uh, I, I explain this to um, fully enough that, that I, I hope you understand that these these cables are different. You can't list a a MagSafe cable for three different wattages because the cable is not three different wattages. It's built into the cable itself. And there's nothing that can be done. I, I can't do anything to change it. You can't do anything to change them. Uh, it's whatever you buy is what you buy, and that's what you're selling. So that's how I tested it. That's what the result of it is. And uh, I'd appreciate uh, being able to return these and or being able to buy the actual 85 watts. I, I've, I've looked around and it looks like it's going to be hard to find actual 85 watt charger cables because no, everybody is lying and saying that they work for everything. I have a MagSafe 1 connector here too that I, I bought a bunch of each and all of them are 60 watt connectors. None of them are 85 watt connectors. And uh, yeah, this is, is going to be a search and I hope I find the, the right eBay vendor that, that has these at a reasonable price. Because they, they do get quite unreasonable for a stinking piece of wire. Uh, but thanks. Thanks for watching.